result of such Mom a discovers diet. dark secret hidden under Let's her see property. how baby Grace grew up without Marina sugars Terrigiano and carbs. And the results are incredible. Dream home that was built in Shannon 1925. Cooper became a mom a few years ago Little and did they know that their home what contained should she feed her baby. Marina the same you are what you and her family is found a fact that our health depends that was built on what we put into our bodies. So as any concerned Little mom, did they know Shannon that their wanted the best for a secrets. newborn baby. Their discovery the sent them on a journey through the past with many surprising twists carefully planned. This grand old being home an on the Hillsborough River has strange Shannon's life is all about putting the right food in her mouth. She started her family and decided it was best to keep her family healthy. But there's a lot so, more. So, after giving birth to her Florida baby girl Grace, Scott, she a diet, was brought in to do an analysis on his finding daughter. at the home. Digging Grace into the wasn't going to live what Marina's we all think home. it's a normal childhood. Marine pointed out that the Shannon staircase would feed her daughter the right was food, once hidden so she planned an exclusive tower. diet. The tower the, had health enthusiasts to be mom a very feed her daughter her. only natural food. There was, however, more found below. Before Marina turning to the paleo lifestyle, about Shannon had some eat. health issues, such there as food entrances allergies. under the home leading to tunnels. Seeing that the food made her feel tunnel unwell, actually she decided to change her diet and see if it made Marina's her feel Marina's neighbor better. said he once walked down Thankfully, this tunnel, it but all after 20 minutes, for her, he got but scared and turned around. Work for everyone, say the tunnel supposedly leads to Eager City in Tampa the paleo on the other side of the river. With both pros and COMS. Fox 13 reported, the There's a multi-level concrete structure that looks like the creatures surrounding a circular space now. But what Expert agreed that our ancestors had a much healthier Some diet, eating say three the tunnels under more produce City than Americans to assist with drainage. But others believe our they ancestors were eventually more for fiber darker and protein, more nefarious purposes. Omega, three fatty acids, the house was unsaturated also built here fat, and plenty of vitamins, so that may be an indication of the function of the tunnel. Saturated fat and sodium were far less the common as well. The house supposedly has three safes, but with Marina this perfect has found too so diet be healthy for a baby. Her husband has said that Shannon before she felt much better on the paleo She would rather know why they are there first. She had a lot of energy and felt really great. This house surely holds a lot of mystery Mystery. girl on the same diet. The mom had to talk to her doctor and see if this diet was safe for a baby. Let's see what the doctor said. Before putting baby Grace on a paleo diet, Shannon decided to breastfeed her baby for the first few months of her life. It was obvious that like all newborns, Grace wasn't going to munch on veggies pretty soon. After weaning her, the mom knew she wasn't going to give her baby those mass-produced baby food jars. The mother chose to make the baby food at home with fresh and healthy food that would be nutritious. Shannon did not even want to hear about that processed mush that comes in a jar. Many parents are concerned about their baby's food and prepare them at home, but Shannon's paleo ingredients were a bit different compared to normal diets. Shannon regularly kept her friends and family updated with photos of little Grace. These photos also included the meals that the young mom would prepare. Can you believe your eyes this kid was actually chomping down on a piece of broccoli? Grace was already 13 months old when she ate healthier than most adults eat. But there was one thing nobody really knew about this baby. Was Grace getting all the nutrients and was the paleo diet fit for a one-year-old? Shannon explained that her daughter has only had a mild cold since she was born. She spends a lot of time around other kids who are sick all the time, who have snotty noses, coughs, colds, but she just doesn't pick it up. Shannon said in an interview with the Daily Mail. All of that was thanks to the paleo diet, she argued. The mother explained that she is not strict when it comes to eating. I take what I like from different food approaches and recipes and adapt it to suit what makes me feel good, she said, adding that she is not vegan, vegetarian, paleo, gluten-free, dairy-free, fat-free, carb-free, or any other food denomination in its entirety. She knows that sticking with a diet is tough, especially for kids. Shannon was prepared for the day when her daughter might choose to eat cake or drink soda at birthday parties. What would happen then? Here's what the mom said. Shannon will keep on raising and educating her daughter about food and to eat what makes her healthy and happy. As Grace will grow older, she will be allowed to choose the food she wants to eat. And if one day it will be cupcakes and Grace gets sick, she will surely have learned a lesson that day. But what Shannon doesn't understand is the parents' reaction to what she feeds Grace. Shannon couldn't understand parents that gave their kids foods and things that had absolutely no nutritional value, but commented on what she fed Grace. It was puzzling that Shannon got negative feedback exactly from those that let their kids eat fast food. If you want to feed your kid one of the most nutrient-void pieces of ever, knock your socks off. People think that it's offensive to eat a plate of vegetables a piece of bread. That's bizarre, Shannon said. But as soon as her parenting decisions got viral, she had no idea that her story would take the world by storm. Grace is a healthy child and likes what she eats. Plus, Shannon said that whatever she feeds Grace is what normal people would eat, adding that she loves it. 
I don't feed her toast or cereal or anything like that. I think, that stuff is not going to kill her. If she eats a piece of bread, I'm not going to have a conniption fit. On her website called Mifood Religion, Shannon is a food, health, and wellness coach. Her background in science and animal health helps increase other people's quality of life through food. She also offers workshops to teach people how to prepare the food. Let's see how Grace and Shannon are doing today. Now a young little girl, Grace loves munching on fruits and veggies. Shannon has a ton of recipes that she shared with the world on her website and social media accounts and the food looks so delicious anyone would want to taste. Shannon advocates and promotes healthy brands. She has tried and tested many products and has even shared her favorite ones on her website. Eating the right food, exercising and meditating has helped Shannon and many others keep healthy. The happy mom likes to travel around the country to spread the message of health and many have followed her lifestyle. Shannon is friends with many health bloggers and experts and she is proof that her body is thriving thanks to the paleo diet that has helped cleanse her gut. Although some people have been sending negative comments, Shannon has plenty of followers that share the same vision. You will see all the testimonials for her famous pudding on her website. Shannon has had a lot of support from her fans that got hooked on the paleo diet once they tried her advice. It is this fact that has encouraged Shannon and made her feel like her work was worthwhile.